Hey Sagittarius, let's see what's going on with you at this time. And keep in mind that energies can be vice versa. And so this will be what is happening to you. And for some Sages, this is what you are doing to someone or other people. So just pick whichever spot you fit. Okay, Sag. Sagittarius. Well, the Queen of Wands wanted to come out, but she didn't. So you have the Four of Pentacles. So you could be feeling like someone is holding back from you. You could be feeling like they come in and out of your life. Um, it's, it's something very passionate, but there's something about this person that I feel like you, you have the Five of Swords, Seven of Swords. <sighs> there's definitely something about this person that you cannot trust or you shouldn't trust. Um, so this is how you feel or this is how someone feels about you. So Sagittarius. So you have the Page of Pentacles. And you have the Fool. So I'm feeling like you could be, okay, you could have been with someone that you don't trust. You, you know that you can't trust this person. Um, you feel like maybe they keep a lot of secrets from you. So, and I feel like you, You've went through a breakup, a separation. I think this person, you could be very sexually, physically attracted to them. Um, it's like you, you want to make this work. Maybe you were planning on getting married, engagement, or something like that. Um, but I think they left you heartbroken. Um, I feel like this person's kind of a snake. And... So they could be trying to come back to you. So you could be in the phase of deciding, but I think you feel like this person has definitely deeply betrayed you, hurt you. Um, this could trigger some emotions. <sighs> okay, Sag. It's like you might be thinking about doing something, but you, you need to you need to wait and really think about getting back involved with this person. Yeah, because there could be another party involved for sure. You need to take a step back. If you if you're thinking about rekindling with whoever this is, you need to uh, mm -mm, you need to think about it. Because this person, it's like there's a lot of people that come with this person. They're, um, it's like they like drama. There's always other parties involved, and you may not even know about all of these other people. It's like this person, they, it's like they, they keep people on rotation. You know, you're in, you're out, you're in, you're out. They get bored with you, they're out, or you're out. They go to somebody else. It could be a friend group. It could be whatever. It's like whatever's hot at the, at the moment is what it, is what this person, um, you know, that's what they like. But I do feel like you may be getting a phone call from this person. You know, they, they may want to come over, have sex, whatever. You know, if you guys are having sex, it could, could just be friends, um, family, whatever. But this person... It's like a runner chaser dynamic. Um, all right, Sag. Yeah, I, I think, um, I 
think this person is going to probably get back in contact with you. This person could have been just using you for what you had. They may be calling you, asking you for help. And so they may seduce you in a way to get whatever it is that they need or want from you. You know, but I feel like it's a karmic relationship. Ooh, I don't know. You might find out some truth about something and it's really going to trigger you. Um, so I think this person's going to come in very uh, seductive. You know what I mean? Let's see. Sag. Yeah, they're going <laughs> to... I'm telling you, they, they just want something from you. So when this person comes back around to you, or if you're doing this to someone else, you, you go back to this person when you want something from them. They just play mind games. They call you or contact you pretty much when they need something from you. It's like a, there's some type of swindler. You know what I mean? Um, they cannot be trusted. And I'm, I'm feeling like, I don't know, they're just a user. They're using you for something. So whatever you're giving this person, I feel like they're, I don't feel like they want a true relationship with you or you don't want a true relationship with whoever. Um, so one of you, I feel like, wants the relationship. The other one doesn't. And I do definitely feel like they've hurt you before. Um, I think you... You possibly give your power away to this person because of their, you know, whatever it is that that they have over you. But I think you're, I think you're in, you, you definitely are going to have a decision to make about this person. Um, I don't know. I just feel like they're going to communicate with you. They may even possibly seduce you to get what they want. That's how this person operates. Um, okay. And you know, I'm, I'm telling you, I think you're just one of the many that they do this to is what it seems like. I feel like you should just block this person. They just, they honestly cannot be trusted. It's like they always keep you in competition, I think. <laughs> It's almost like if you were to take a pack of dogs and throw in a steak, like that's what they like. They're the steak and they want to see everybody fighting over them. I mean, seriously, they, they like a lot of attention. Whoever this is that you're dealing with, or if this is you. Okay. And some of you, Sag, is you may be, um, you might be getting back in shape, like taking better care of yourself. So I think you need to let this person go. You just need to turn your back to this person. Um, yeah. And I think a lot of you have. You're just going to have to let them fall to their death. I mean, not literally, but you know what I mean. Just, um... Yeah, because it's, I feel like there's somebody else in the background involved with this person. So, I don't know, this person, this person, they may want to come live with you, or they do live with you, or they did, but I don't think they're really offering you anything. They may just need a place to stay. I don't know. Like, I feel like all the power is in your hand. It's up to you. So you can allow this person to come back in. I feel like you're the person that has always been there for this person. You're this person's rock. When they fall on hard times, they call you. Or you call them, whichever. Um, hmm. Sad. This person's flaming your face. Absolutely, for sure. 
Yep. They just want, I think they want money from you, honestly. That's it. Or whatever it is. If it's clothes, if it's, you know, if this is like a, a girlfriend, like friends. They just want a bar or something. They just want this, you know. Whatever it is that you have, they want to borrow it or they want it. So if it's money, they want it. If it's, you know, can I borrow your car? Can I, I don't know, it's anything. They see you have the funds or you have the means or you just have what they want. And you've always been there for them. You know, this could have been like someone you grew up with, someone that you've known, you know, for a very long time. There could be a lot of jealousy involved in this. Um, Sag. I think this person just, they breadcrumb just to, just to keep you at arm's length at all times for when they need something. Yeah, this person, they want to heal this with you. Um, Okay, they're definitely going to come in. They want to heal this with you, but I'm telling you, they want something from you. That That's it. It's not genuine. It is not genuine. So, they're going to come in and test the waters, but I'm telling you, um, if I were you, I would... I would keep this, if, if you're done with this person, you need to stay done because they're a user. Anyway, that's what I have for you, Sag, and I will see you in the next one.